Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 7.20 on a Wednesday morning, and I just walked from the Tangla BTS station, took a look at Soy's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm across from the Marche, if I'm saying that correct, little shopping center. There's a Topps grocery store. It's 24 hours, Burger King 24 hours. Here on Sukhavit, Soy 55. There's a lot to see up in this uh, Tangla area, so let's continue on. I'm gonna go up and take a look at uh, probably Soy 7, no doubt, and then make my way up 55. Take a look at this busy street. And I'm assuming this is a nice wine bar, wine aspect. And if you're not familiar with Soy 55, the name of the game are all these different cosmetic clinics, dental clinics, plastic surgeons. And this is the place to come get beautiful. If I had to pinpoint one of the more expensive areas in Bangkok, this would probably be at the top of the list. And here's Canvas. They're displaying a Michelin 2024, so I'm not sure if they're a, a one or two star restaurant. There are plenty of uh, street stands and all that have the Michelin guide attached to them. But that looked more like it could have been a Michelin star restaurant. And this is the area of town that uh, that would not be uncommon. And I don't know what that is. Dunlow Pillow, Royal British Comfort. All right, a mattress store perhaps? Right next door to a couple of restaurants. And there's that some Marche with the 24 hour tops. That's nice. Most of the grocery stores around town are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Looks like a ball gown and wedding gown shop. Oh, and I didn't notice above the pillow stores, the Somerset. Sukhavit Tong La. It's like a beautiful set of condos. Next to the Panjit Tower office building. Looks like a fancy hair salon across the way in Rich. You can fill up your expensive condo with Euro Creations furniture. And I'm guessing these are some fancy European brands. And I didn't notice above the Enrich is a breakfast story. Nice place to uh, get a plate of eggs, pancakes. And every time I come by this, I guess I'll call it a nightclub, Chandan? Or is Chandan alcohol? Yeah, here's the name. It's packed. There's always people hanging out front, smoking and waiting in line to get into the club. I remember years ago when they had uh, the health screenings, they were right where this taxi driver is, just people in hazmat suits waiting to take your temperature and maybe even give you a test on site before they let you in the club. Here's another beautiful condo. I don't see the name. And I see the name. Now I'm not sure if I understand the name. The HO building? Now this little road, it's just marked private road. I have a little bit of experience down here. Maybe two years ago I was invited to uh, well, it was a public meetup, but uh, my buddy told me about it, and I couldn't find this place. That's the thing with uh, Tong La. It has all these speakeasies and uh, kind of too cool for school cocktail bars. And I couldn't find this place. I'll show you why. It's at the end here, but here's the Black Amber Barber Shop. What the Cup Coffee and Bakery. And this is a little hotel, I'm assuming, the Nan Nantra. There are different Nantras around. Thailand and this little place I'm not sure what it is it's uh, I think it's uh, another barbershop but this place right here at night I walked by it and um, what's going on until I noticed just a little tiny mixology sign and at night after, I don't know, four pints, I walked to the end here, I walked over to this door, I had to ask somebody over here and they didn't know. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know if this is a straight up speakeasy, but it's a little off the beaten path and they're not so concerned about a big, huge, flashy sign. And if you want to live affordably in probably one of the most expensive areas of town, check these rates out. Of course, Google Maps works over here, but Google Maps kept taking me to this right here, this Dr. S 
So private road, whatever it is, Google Maps can uh, only do its best on a little back alley cocktail bar in Bangkok, Thailand. So it's a good tool, but yeah, nothing is, uh, nothing is perfect. And I don't know what that Kudara is. I assume it's a, well, it's a coffee shop. And this says authentic homemade Northern Thai cuisine. And on the even side of the road, that's soy six, but you can see it's just 50 feet long. I see a couple of massage places and something called black amber. Back on the odd side is the Waterworks Coffee. And I haven't seen this at night or I didn't pay attention, the Wonka Lab Dispensary. It'd be cool if they have the, uh, I assume they have the bubbling water, or at least lights going up those uh, tubes. And over here, you'll see this Citibank signs around town, but to the best of my knowledge, don't confuse yourself that you can open a Citibank account in the United States or wherever else Citibank is and just transfer your money to the Citibank in Thailand. The best, to the best of my knowledge, it doesn't work that way. The Citibank over here is more for commercial banking only, but you'll have to do your research on that. Most of us, we have to open a Thai account and use something like WISE or international bank transfers. And in my case, from Navy Federal Credit Union, I've also used WISE, but uh, flat rate international transfers from Navy Credit Union are 25 bucks. And they come at a pretty competitive uh, transfer rate. I know there's also a branch of Bangkok Bank in New York City. Again, back in the day, I think you used to be able to open a Bangkok branch account here in Thailand. And then when you were back in the States, you could transfer your money from Bank of America, whatever, into that branch. And then it would be good to go for your Thai branch. But I think they've since kind of closed that, uh, I guess I'll call it a loophole. So just be careful when you're looking at, at something online in a Facebook post and it's from 2015 or 2016, hey, things change fast. Looking down the way where you see that round building, just around the corner, maybe, I don't know, 500 feet, you'll hit the Tong La BTS station. And on this odd side, we've made our way up Sukhumvit 55 to Tong La Soy 7. It doesn't appear to be very long, but let's go take a peek while we're here. I do see a sign up there, studio room for rent. So here you go, even in the uh, Beverly Hills of Bangkok, you can find some affordable options. I'm sure this affordable option is going to still be two, three, four thousand more than uh, if it didn't have a Soy 55 address. But that will be your decision. And you know, I have been back here once. I see the missing burrow. I need to add that onto my list of, I'm assuming that's a Mexican restaurant. But this, uh, goes off in this direction and this motorbike just came around down at the end so yeah all kinds of uh, all kinds of little hidden things here at the end I see the Thai Moon house which appears to be a restaurant and on the right here for rent a townhome one of these three-story walk-ups and Augusta here's another I assume Botox clinic Yeah, so you can live on Soy 55 and walk up that street, busy, heading to work every day. And I understand people that are working, they sure have a lot less time than I do to get out and walk around. So maybe that's a reason to subscribe to my little channel. I'm boots on the ground out here, wandering around. I'll do it for you. And if you see something tucked away like this missing burrow, authentic Mexican food, come check it out. I definitely need to put this on my list. To be honest, I've been going to Charlie Brown's Mexicana up on Soy 19. And once again, if you look at something online, you need to check the dates because Charlie Brown's used to be up on Soy 11 forever. So if you're watching some movie or YouTube clip from, I don't know when it moved, let's say 2016, you might head to Soy 11 looking for the place and it's now uh, demolished. It's up on Soy 19, tucked away kind of behind the Robinson department store on the side of the old Gaucho Steakhouse in the Terminal 21 area. And I know I've uh, at least walked up and looked at this, where this missing burrow was at one time. I've, I've never ate there, but I don't think I've been back here. 
And this appears to be a little school or daycare center. And then it dead ends. There's the uh, Somerset, I'm assuming it's a hotel or is it a condo building on the busy Soy 55. And there's the back end of a beautiful building over on Soy 53. You can, you can find some impressive apartments on that 53. Very, very nice and expensive Thai barbecue. Let's go down this way and see if it makes... Good morning. If it makes a big uh, U-turn around and comes back in front of that missing burrow. If not, I'll just backtrack. No big deal. And if you don't want to run over here and move one to one of the large high-rises, like probably 99% of us do, you can get out and wander around. There are four rent signs everywhere. I'm assuming this is six or nine apartments tucked away. You never know what kind of a nice little apartment you might find. And there are some nice homes tucked away back here. And some beautiful cars. Yes, it looks like it's coming to a dead end and then uh, popping out on another street. I'm not sure. I want to see what's on that little street in front of the uh, missing borough. So I might backtrack. Yeah, this is probably Soy 7. And if you take a left like that motorbike heading up that direction, down at the end... I'm pretty sure it's a wine bar called, uh, oh, Boca de something. Boca de, I'm thinking of Boca de Beppo, but that's a restaurant in San Diego. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Soy 7, and they just have a little bridge over a little clong here. Yep, somebody just made a little old school bridge to get across this puddle, and then you're on Soy 7. But let's head backtrack, go back to the missing borough, and see what's on that little stretch of street. I'm, I'm just doing my best to cover every little side soy just in case there's a little 12 room apartment complex hidden away back here. And this is the area of town you're considering. Maybe I can give you a leg up on uh, what you might find. Yeah, it was bothering me. I had to look it up. It's just called the Baco Wine Bar on Sukhumvit Soy 53. Really good Italian food. They had uh, homemade pasta. And I'm going to 100% put this miss missing burrow on my list. I think it was my friend Kwong. She used to work over here, I think, on Soy 55. And we went to Charlie Brown's, I don't know, six months ago, whenever it was. And I think she was the one telling me uh, there's a place over here in Tong La that's really good. I bet she was talking about that missing burrow. So this is going to dead end down the way, but I still want to take a look where that little creek is. These might be, some of them, the same houses that, uh, well, maybe not. I was going to say that where I saw that Porsche, maybe it takes up the whole lot. Oh, this actually goes straight through to Soy 7, apparently. Nice and quiet. I mean, Soy 55 is uh, fairly chaotic, and you can just get 100 feet away, and you have this old-school Thai home. And we're getting down to the end. They have a little bridge for cars on this street. I am going to take a right and get back on 55. And then I'll uh, see what we missed on this little stretch of 55. Coming back here in the back area. But I'm sure glad I did. I have that new uh, Mexican restaurant on my list. Now I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is Soy 7. So I'm going to go back to 55. Soy 7, where you see the bus down the way, it's just going to hit Soy 53. There are a couple of uh, smaller options. Hotels and, and uh, buildings like this. This is called the Garden Place. And let's walk back up to 55. See what we missed ducking back here. And here's Mr. Biggs. Men's Wellness. And a bar called the Club Line, just across the way from a building called the NT Tower. And again, this is all on uh, Soy 7. I'd almost bet money we're on 7. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. 7 or 9. We'll wait till we get up on the corner. Here's a little coffee place. Hong Kong. And a pasta bar. Yeah, I'm losing track. 
Are we on soy seven or soy nine? Premium Thai barbecue. Oh, another little side soy. I gotta check these side soys out. You never know what's tucked away back there. There's a place at the end called the Dollhouse Snack Bar and Karaoke. Not to be confused with uh, a club and soy co cowboy called the Dollhouse. Another karaoke bar. Huh. All kinds of little things tucked away back here. I think this is just uh, somebody's home. No? Another little restaurant, I guess. Paradise Spa. You don't have to forgive my memory. I think uh, we started the video at Soy 5, so where the missing, is it the missing barrel? See, there goes my memory again. The Mexican restaurant, so that would have been Soy 7, and that would make this Soy 9. But I could have that all messed up. We'll find out at the uh, street corner in 10 seconds. And no shortage of street food, and I'm correct. We are now on the corner of Soy 9 and Sukhavit Soy 55. Now I'm gonna continue on at least down to the next street. I did another video on the other side of the street on uh, Soy 10, but I missed everything on Soy 55 in between seven and nine. So let's go backwards. I'm now walking in the direction of the BTS and we'll check it out. I see two massage places right on the right. And here's a fancy ice cream store. I see three massage places in a row. Here's a place, I'm assuming it's a restaurant called Tokyo Station, next to a pharmacy. Then the 7-Eleven. Oh, and across the street, I see a food land tucked away in the 8 Tong La building. And I'm assuming this is a karaoke place based on the uh, character. And a little coffee and maybe bobo tea right next to Thai food, Joke, Bangkok. Massage. These are pretty popular fancy barber shops. You'll see these never say cuts around town. I think that's massage. And this looks like a fabric store. And we've made our way back to Soy 7. If we take this right turn where the guys with the ladders are, we'll hit the Mexican restaurant. But I am gonna backtrack up to Soy 9 and then continue on to, I'm guessing, Soy 11. And these smaller buses, I'll see a ton of them parked at the end. This is a long Soy 55. I go to a place, speaker box, it's a rock club at the end of 55, at least two miles down the way. And I'll see 10 of those little buses parked down there. Well, right now in the early morning, I'm seeing them going in both directions down towards Sukhavit and the, the BTS. So keep that in mind if you're considering this 55. Yeah, the closer to the, the train, the better, but there are options to zip you up to the BTS. And that would probably be closer to Soy 55, Soy 10, the Grand Central Point. And across the way, that's Soy 8. You can see it's just whatever that is, 500 feet long. There might be a little three-rise apartment at the end. And we're back up to Soy 9 where I backtracked. So let's continue on down 55. Maybe make a left up uh, Soy 11 if there is one. And I'm assuming this is uh, just called 55. Little bar, maybe. Here's another pet clinic. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, a few businesses down here. Let's take a look. A place called Sing a Song and Posh Eyebrows. And there's the pet hospital and then the Valentine Karaoke up on the third floor. A lot of these Japanese style. They'll have private rooms. It's not like 
in the U.S. where it's karaoke night in the bar. Oftentimes you, you just take your group of people into a, a private room. Over here is uh, Cuisine Academy, Food DD. And then another place at the end. All kinds of Japanese food in this area. And this is Urbana Wine. And there's a shot of the front of the Grand Central Point. You'll find those uh, Central Points. I was going to say all over Bangkok, but I've seen them all over Thailand. I think I stayed in one at, in Pattaya, I think. Uh, what is this? Another wellness center. And this looks like uh, those Thai dessert options like mango and sticky rice. More Japanese food. You come down here at 9 o'clock at night and you'll be confused if uh, you're in Bangkok or Tokyo at times. We're kind of getting into the high society area. This next busy street off on the right is Soi 10. There are a ton of fancy nightclubs down that way and it connects down to Ekamai. And I just walked by a building with a lot of cameras and not a lot of windows. There's a lot of these buildings in Bangkok. Uh, there's a lot of consulates and, and embassies and then there are buildings like this that are just on the down low. Now maybe it's just a private Thai company. Who knows? But uh, yeah, you'll just be walking around and then all of a sudden a car will come in. A Mercedes or BMW, it's, it's obviously some kind of ambassador or something. Here's a little uh, eatery right next door. They, they're flying the uh, Corona banner. Corona's super popular over here. So it's uh, Budweiser. The different towers of beer, let's see if, uh, I was gonna say that they oftentimes have the empty towers ready to go. Uh, nine out of ten that you see on the tables, kind of the, the new hip cool thing to do is have a Budweiser tower at your table. Now here's Fisherman's Wharf restaurant. And this busy little intersection is uh, how you cross over to Soy 10. This place on the corner, Wine Republic, I, I've hung out there a dozen times. Fun, fun spot. And not everything is, is crazy, crazy money. It's fairly affordable. My buddy lives in that building tucked away back there on uh, Soy 10 off of 55. More Japanese food. And I don't know if I've ever made a left here. I'm assuming it's Soy 11 because it's Soy 10 on the other side. But I don't see a street sign. Let me see if there's one behind me. No. Nope little police booth sometimes you'll see uh, police officers manning these booths other times they don't okay yeah the signs just turned sideways so Tong Lo Soy 11 so let's take a peek down 11 we'll walk to the end which I believe is uh, Soy 53 and right on the corner this is the taste Tong Lo building is a, a bond with beauty wellness clinic Plenty of restaurants in this uh, taste. I don't think I've ever been over here, but sitting in that Wine Republic, I've looked across the way and it's just packed. And here's a little salon down below. Now here's a nice little tailor shop tucked away, but it looks like they might have a coffee bar off to the right. I see a little like sliding door, garage door type thing. And here's a nice residence behind a 12 foot gate. And the Waterford building on Soy 11, if it's anything like the other uh, Waterford I know of, on Sukhavit Soy 30 slash 1, those are some huge apartments. I think that is actually called the Waterford Diamond. There's three Waterfords around town that I know of. And another beautiful building, the SR Place. And no surprise, more Japanese food. And off to the left is just a small soy. I think it's just uh, some private homes. I don't know what BB support is. 
But yeah, just some private houses down the way. And here's the Tate Building, Tong Law. And this is the Tong Law 11 residence. It's very nice. The 11 Clinic MP Dental. Another beautiful building off in the distance. This one is on Soy 53, I believe. And this is a beautiful restaurant tucked away in the trees, Audrey. Showing different pasta options. Rice dish and pasta. And another large restaurant as we end Soy 11. This is Soy 53. And that's about it for today. I've been out walking around, starting to warm up. So I'm going to head on home to some air conditioning. I appreciate you watching, following along. I'm just out getting lost on the streets of Bangkok and uh, discovering my city. The Soy 53 is also a beautiful street. It, it goes down and you're at the BTS, Tong La. There's some beautiful uh, condos on 53. And you can see uh, the Soy 11, Soy 9. There are just many ways to get over to the busy Soy 55. So thanks again for watching. Once again, I'll be uh, out making videos real soon. Consider subscribing if that's something that interests you. And we'll see you later. Have a good morning.